हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर चैनल इमेजिन अ सिंगल नोटोरियस कैंसल सेल ब्रेकिंग फ्री फ्रॉम इट्स ओरिजिन ट्रैवलिंग थ्रू ब्लड स्ट्रीम एंड इनवेडिंग द डिस्टेंट ऑर्गन दिस इज मेटास्टेसिस द डेडलीस्ट फेज ऑफ कैंसर हाउ डज इट हैपन लेट्स डिस्कस so by definition metastasis is spread of cancer cell from the primary tumor site to distant organs for example colon cancer metastasizes to liver this spread or metastasis involve various steps broadly into two steps we have divided invasion of the surrounding extracellular matrix and second is vascular dissemination tissue homing and colonization so this is a tumor which is spread by degrading the surrounding extracellular matrix and tumor cell reaching to the vascular channel then form a tumor embolus after this tumor embolus formation these tumor cell extravasate by various factors we will discuss later on and then up will result into the colonization at the different or distant site so let's discuss in detail first step is invasion of the surrounding extracellular matrix tumor cell start loosening of tumor tumor cell interaction this is known as epithelial mesenchymal transition in which epithelial cell lose polarity and adhesion properties and acquire the migratory and invasive abilities this epithelial mesenchymal transition is controlled by transcription factors like snell and twist they basically down regulate the e cadherin e cadherin is responsible for the cell cell adhesion so down regulation of e cadherin will result into the loosening between tumor cells or snell and twist up regulate the biomantin and smooth muscle actin these are the mesenchymal marker they further increase or promote the migration of tumor cell or promote epithelial mesenchymal transition after loosening of tumor cell these tumor cell degrade the surrounding extracellular matrix by the secretion of various proteases tumor cell also activate the stromal cell like fibroblast they also secrete proteases proteases namely mmp which stands for matrix metalloproteinase catepsin d urokinase plasminogen activator these proteases will result into the degradation of extracellular matrix protein MMP9 also known as gelatinase cleaves the collagen 4 which is present in the basement membrane and also secrete vascular endothelial growth factor after the degradation of extracellular matrix these tumor cell attach with the remodeled extracellular matrix and travel through the degraded matrix MMP2 and MMP MMP9 leave the collagen and laminin in basement membrane and this breakage of basement membrane will result into the or facilitate entry of tumor cell into the vascular channels how migration and invasion of tumor cell occur from primary tumor to these blood vessel through extracellular matrix various factors like cytokines chemokines extracellular matrix cleavage product like collagen laminin 
stromal cell derived paracrine factor like hgf they promote migration of tumor cell through degraded extracellular matrix a term anoikis refers cell death due to loss of adhesion now we have discussed the invasion of extracellular extracellular matrix and now cancer cell are reached to the vascular channel after this there will be vascular dissemination tissue homing and colonization occur so what are the factors affecting metastatic deposition first is location and vascular drainage of primary tumor second tropism of particular kind of tumor cell for a specific tissue third is escape from the tumor dormancy so normally when cancer cell uh, reach to the vascular channel they act, they add the platelets and along with the platelet they stimulate factor 12 which secret or start fibrin deposition and will result into the formation of tumor emboli so tumor cells acquire or have the ability to act like stem cells or they have stem cellness which help them to grow and adapt according to the various micro environment and this will help into the uh, metastasis of cancer cell so what is organ tropism so tumor cell has very express various markers like cd44 lymphocyte also express such uh, same marker and they wind to the highly urinate on the endothelial venules in some tumor cells they release chemokine which help them to metastasize as particular organ and there is a favorable soil hypothesis tumor cell or, or cancer of a particular organ has an specific affinity for uh, micro environment of the different tissue like colon cancer uh, tend to metastasize liver because of the similar kind of a uh, micro environment and this is known as favorable soil hypothesis likewise breast cancer tends to metastasize in lungs because of the similar kind of micro environment this is favorable soil hypothesis and now we will discuss about the tumor dormancy what is tumor dormancy normally tumor cell fail to grow at distant site this is a protective mechanism of our body but how they colonize a different site or escape from the tumor dormancy we will see by an example in breast cancer tumor cell reach to the bone where they secrete parathyroid related protein parathyroid hormone related protein which activate the osteoblast osteoblast secret rank ligand which activate osteoclast activity osteoclast over activation will result into the degradation of bone matrix and releasing some growth factors like insulin like growth factor and tgf beta which help these cancer cell to settle and grow the at these distant site so this is how cancer cell start its journey from its site of origin by loosening between cancer cancer cell then degrade the extra cellular matrix reach to the vascular channel then extra vested from these vascular channel and by various growth factor and chemokine cytokine their help they make a colonize or tissue homing in distant organ how this extra vestation occur the help tumor cell along with the monocytes 
and neutrophil secrete some proteolytic enzyme and chemokines they help them to extra message from the vascular channel to the desired or distant organ where they colonize so this is metastasis and their steps now we will see about the various roots of metastasis so roots of metastasis there are various roots of spread of cancer from primary site of origin to distant organ first is lymphatic root most of the carcinomas follow this root second is hematogenous root most of the sarcomas mesenchymal cancer follow this root except a hepatocellular carcinoma and renal cell carcinoma they also spread through hematogenous root a third is transcelomic root through the body cavities which is seen in ovarian carcinoma cancer of the gi tract and lung cancer so these are the common roots of metastasis lymphatic hematogenous and transcelomic thank you thank you for your time